You don't have to approve of the lifestyle. There's, there's no compulsion to approve of the lifestyle. But you cannot deny the fact that they're human beings and they're entitled to the same dignity and rights as any other human being. That's in every religion. Mindsets take a long time to change, uh, but uh, this government said they are committed to human rights and therefore this should be part of it because you can't you know, divide up human rights and say it's only for some humans and not for others. So um, I think it will take time, uh, but um, what we need most is leadership and that's what we didn't have the last time. So we need leadership on these issues where uh, people make a clear stand on, on where they are and, and then the rest population will follow. I think uh, Malaysians are basically kind and compassionate and are, you know, are not, not discriminatory by nature unless they are misinformed. I think what it needs to understand is that in Malaysia, LGBT uh, people, the LGBT community are quite different from what you see in the West. I think everyone's been um, coloured by, you know, seeing what they've seen in the West. LGBT people here in Malaysia, they're not asking for extra rights. They're asking for the same rights as everyone else. Uh, number two, as far as I know, and I have a long history of, of uh, knowing the communities, they're not particularly um, aggressive in demanding their rights. Uh, as you see, most of them are marginalized, and if you're marginalized, you're basically quite disempowered, and so most of them don't actually, uh, they're not demanding their rights. But what happens is even within that passive Fans. Even when they're not demanding, they are discriminated against. But as always, it's a matter of um, expanding your knowledge on the issue and um, maybe hearing it from uh, the most affected people themselves.